Hello everyone, you welcome to Jam Vibes. Guys, so much has been ongoing already in this whole Senzo Meiwa situation in court and Kelly Kumalo's name has been trending too. It has been rubbished already given to the fact that Pinky reveals that actually there was a SIM swap that was done on Meiwa's phone as after his life was ended and shocking enough many people are attributing kelly kumalo to this and even want her to get arrested they want her as well to come to court and give her own version of the story before i give you all the entire details about what is actually ongoing kindly do well to follow jam vibes please like this video drop a comment and above all share this video with all of your friends and loved ones the content related in today's video is sourced from the coverage of yesterday's court proceedings by SABC as updated on their digital platform. Vodacom's forensic supervisor, Pinky, has provided confirmation that a SIM swap actually occurred on Senzo Meiwa's phone number mere hours following his tragic demise. Meiwa, the former Bafana Bafana captain, met his untimely end on October 26, 2014, in a father shooting incident at the parental abode of Kelly Kumalo in Fosloros on Houtings East Rand. Testifying at the High Court in Pretoria, where five individuals stand trial for claiming the life of Senzo Meiwa, Pinky corroborated previous assertions by retired cell phone data analyst Colonel Lambertus Stein regarding the SIM swap. According to Pinky, the swap indeed transpired on October 27th, 2014. When we look at things a little deeply, at some point we actually heard fully well that the person who allegedly had sent the U.S. phone at the time was no other person than uh, Kelly Kumalo. But shocking enough is the fact too that one time we are so heard that that same phone was found back. I think it was in the kitchen and stuff like that. And everybody was like, yo, what is ongoing? Why the mix of, of you know, ideas, the mix of stories? There is really no continuity in these stories. And because of this, many people just want Kelly Kumalo to come to court already. Firstly, not only because she was uh, in a relationship with Senzo Meiwa, but also Senzo Meiwa passed away in her house. Also, Senzo Meiwa passed away on visiting her. Also, Senzo Meiwa was a married man and having a side affair with Kelly Kumalo. Guys, there are so many reasons. Come to think of the fact too that Senzo Meiwa's mother even revealed at some point Sorry, Senzo Meiwa's friend revealed that Senzo Meiwa's mother was so bitter at Kelly Kumalo after, you know, Senzo Meiwa passed away because Kelly Kumalo kept driving his vehicle and Kelly Kumalo had as, as excuse that Senzo Meiwa is the father of her, of her child, hence she can do whatsoever that she wants to do, right? Because... Yes, she has rights to drive his vehicle, be it his alive or not, especially in situations that she found herself in. Also, come to think of the fact that Pinky elucidated that Vodacom received a subpoena from SAPC pursuant to Section 205 of the Criminal Procedural Act on May 9, 2020. The subpoena sought information pertaining to the SIM swap conducted on October 27, 2014. She disclosed that the swap took place at Salu City, located within the Benmore Gardens shopping center. Despite providing the name of the retail agent involved, Pinky, under questioning by state prosecutor Ronnie Sibanda, was unable to ascertain the identity of the individual who initiated the swap. And this is making things even more beautiful and a little more complex and complicated because I always tell people, before you point fingers at somebody, you need to be very certain about, you know, what you're doing and stuff like that. Because the socials are definitely pointing, you know, Kelly Kumalo out saying that she is the one who did the SIM swap. She is the one who did the SIM swap. How certain are we? Because here is Pinky saying that there was really a difficulty in identifying the person who actually did the swap. And come to think as well of the fact that... Uh, Kelly Kumalo had Senzo Meiwa's ID card. I understand, you know, Kelly Kumalo had Senzo Meiwa's ID card because it was even reviewed. I think it was, I don't know if it was in Tokozisi Twala, uh, was it Toko? Yeah, I think it was Toko, right? Who revealed that Kelly Kumalo refused, you know, to give um, Senzo Meiwa's uh, ID card at first to his family when it was asked for. And the only way in which a SIM swap can be done is when, you know, 
an ID card of the person is definitely, you know, available and stuff like that, except there's another way that I don't know of. So if there is another way that's possible in South Africa, please, you all tell me in the comment section, right? Because in as much as we are actually broadcasting this, we are as well learning from one another. Kelly Kumanu has definitely been through the most difficult times ever since this whole Senzo Mayua situation. And sometimes I'll be thinking like, yo, like nobody deserves this. Nobody deserves to go through this since 2014 till now and she still stands tall given to the fact that she releases songs like on a daily here we are kelly kumano has released a whole chain of beautiful singles within the past weeks and they are doing so well on the youtube platform in as much as we are putting so much energy to finding who actually pulled the trigger on senzo meiwa while dragging kelly kumano guys i implore each and every one of you as well to visit her channel watch her music stream her songs because yuck that's so much money that she uses on a daily. Sibanda queried whether an ID document was presented during the swap process and if Pinky could identify the individual responsible for the swap. However, Pinky was unable to provide definitive answers to these inquiries. Furthermore, Pinky revealed that 63 successful calls were made or received from the new SIM card. She emphasized the requisite documentation and verification procedures involved in obtaining a new SIM card, including the submission of an ID for authentication purposes. I personally feel so bad about all of this, right? Because um, Kelly Kumano happens to be that one person who, first off, she was very vocal about everything, you know, going on in court and stuff like that. But of recent, she even spewed out herself that she's so pissed out already with the whole Senzo Meiwa situation. She wants to, you know, proceed with her life. She wants to move on. And this thing just keeps draining, like, the back and forth stuff. And, you know, when you think about the fact that even Zandile Kumalo, that happens to be Kelly's sister, has been so vocal about it that there are a lot of advocates out there, by the way, who are going on and about trying to you know milk out everything not true about the whole Senzo Meiwa situation so they could get relevance so they could actually make some monies for themselves so I mean it's it's actually a heartbreaking situation and I remember fully well that Kelly Kumalo's sister Zandile even said it's been so many years already that they've been looking at the Kumalo's family but then again no concrete proof has actually been tabled so far so good why can they not look somewhere else? What if they look at Mandis and Kize? For those who don't know, Mandis and Kize is the one who was married to Senzo Meiwa back in the days. And many were like, she was so comfortable to be a wife who has a cheating husband. Hence, probably she could get into one or two stuff to find, you know, some closure and stuff. And then probably it turned into some negative turnout. I don't know. That's just what was revealed at some point. Despite Meiwa being declared deceased between exactly 9 uh, p.m. to 9.15 on October 26, 2014. The same swap transpired the following morning as well. Of course, Pinky testimony sheds light on the intricacies surrounding the event preceding the following Mayuwa's tragic device. Pinky is slated to resume her testimony today as the trial proceedings continue to unfold, unraveling further details surrounding this harrowing case. Right now, I don't want to be judgmental about this, and I want you all not to be judgmental too. Tell me what you think in the comment section about all of this. Do you really think that Kelly Kumalo needs to be arrested because of this? Do you think Kelly Kumalo definitely needs her day in court so she could actually, you know... It's funny that Kelly Kumalo has not been to court yet to defend herself. I missed everything ongoing. Many have been in court. From Longre Twala to Ntokozisi Twala, to even Kelly Kumalo's mother, to Zandile Kumalo, Kelly Kumalo's sister, but not Kelly. Yo, I don't want to really think, you know, in a whole different, you know, uh, direct, direction of things. And uh, yeah, like I said, just do want to stream Kelly Kumalo's songs, stream her songs. I love her pretty well. I, I wish her the very best. I wish everyone the very best, but things are getting so heated up. I'm going to be reading you all in the comment section while you tell me what you think and how you feel based on everything. I love you all and do want to take good care of yourselves.